Today on our review video, we have an Edifice Casio watch. It's an EQB 500. It comes in a metal box, a standard for Edifice Casio models. And it's a stainless steel version of the Casio's uh, innovative Bluetooth or the, um, I would say, smartish watches on the market. Well, the standard or the features of the watch are the 200 grams of its weight, so it weighs uh, pretty much uh, 52 millimeters by 44 millimeters watch case and the 22 millimeter lug width. Interesting things about these new Casios are the functions of the watch, uh, as well as the multiple pushers and the uh, screw lock crown. When it comes to the watch itself, it has uh, several sub-dials or as we can see 1, 2, 3 and this small AMPM sub-dial for the second time zone as well as the date window for the primary timekeeping. Here we have a Bluetooth inscribed logo which synchronizes the, which indicates the synchronization of the watch with your phone. Classic Casio's EQB 500 series watches have the uh, case back screwed with these four bolts to the watch case. On the back we have uh, inscriptions or laser engraving of the specification of the watches as well as the mod model of the watch. This watch is also 100 meter water resistant. So that would be the some of the basic functionalities or the uh, specifications of the watch. Uh, the glass is a standard Casio's mineral glass. Also a very key feature of this watch is that it's a solar powered or solar charged battery in this watch. It has a solar cell cells inside the watch face or the dial and it charges the solar battery so uh, theoretically it has a infinite life battery but as we know uh, these batteries last up to 10 years so it's replaceable since this is gonna be a long review because the watch has uh, many functionalities I'm gonna try to simplify some of the dial inscriptions first of all the Bluetooth mark when the watch is connected with a phone, the second hand points to the Bluetooth mark. R mark over here. When the watch is standing by for connection with the phone, the second hand points to R. On mark. Uh, when watch is in alarm mode and the alarm is enabled, the second hand points to on. Also, when in alarm mode, when the second hand points to off, the alarm is disabled. Day of the week, we have a window for the day. Alarm mark, when the, alarm, when the watch is the, in alarm mode, uh, the second hand or the mode hand actually points to AL over here. These two dots, one f uh, empty and one full color, shows your, is used when the watch is synchronized with your phone. When it's on the empty, that means you have no mail on your phone. And when it shows to the full dot over here, it means that you have a mail on your phone. Also, the basic operations of the watch. Uh, one of the key features of this EQB 500 watch is that to sh uh, shuffle between the modes of the watch, you don't have to use your screw lock crown. You can use these pushers. Uh, but uh, when you want to activate the screw lock crown functions you can screw down screw lock or open the crown and the watch will beep it has two stages and the crown is crown is lockable or screw down lockable so it in it um, enables the water tightness of the watch navigating between the modes of the watch is done in this timekeeping mode by pressing the A button, upper left button, 
and the watch with will shuffle bit in the calendar mode that that's how casio calls it so in the calendar mode you have the options of alarm and stopwatch so by pressing the a button first we activate the stopwatch the sub dial minute and the hour end of the stopwatch will align and then to activate the stopwatch function press the upper right button and stopwatch is activated now to pause it press again the same button then to reset it press this button over here now pressing the a button again will shuffle the watch to the alarm mode and as it's shown it shows to the off so the alarm is disabled pressing the a button again will return the watch to the timekeeping mode the second hand will show the current time and date or the seconds of the current time and date and the sub dial shows the second time zone now this watch has a key feature and that's the uh, bluetooth synchronization with your watch now that is done by depressing the bluetooth button on the lower left side of the watch and the second hand will indicate to the bluetooth logo on the watch setting the time and date on this edifice eqb 500 is done by unscrewing the crown and pushing it out to the second click or the second step to uh, adjust the hand and minutes rotate the crown clockwise one inc in increments of one minute and uh, speed speed scrolling it by rotating even faster and even faster on the second speed is done by using rotating it even faster to stop it just rotate the crown once until you hear the click and then to anti to for rotation in anti-clockwise the procedure is the same There it is, it's rotating anti-clockwise. Now to stop it, just roll the crown once. Now to adjust the other uh, time specification, precisely day and the date, press the upper right button and the watch will proceed to change the month. Now, by rotating the crown you will uh, adjust the date now pressing the as you can see we are in this month setting mode so the second hand indicates to 12 so it will uh, show that it's December so January February March and so on uh, in this in this step you can also set the date as as I said by rotating the crown now pressing the A button again will ro change the setting to year setting and this one is the tenth of a digit so it's uh, 1 2019 so it's 1 then pressing it again moves the second hand to 9 so it's 2019 now pressing the A button again will align the watch and pushing the crown back in will return the watch to timekeeping mode configuring dual time setting is done by unscrewing the crown and pushing it to the first step or the first click and we are in the this setting mode now rotating the crown clockwise will start the rotation of the subdial marker or uh, subdials hands and a minute and the hour hand and by rotating in by one click it will uh, adjust the time in, in 15 minute increments now when the time is set just push the crown back in and screw it back down and that would be configuration of the dual time or the second time zone mode swapping your 
current time and the uh, secondary time zone or the timekeeping is done by depressing upper right button and holding it for about three seconds this uh, sh uh, time shown on the sub dial will be the time shown on the main dial and vice versa now we pressed it and the time is being swapped the hands are aligning and now the second time zone is becoming uh, your primary time zone and the primary time zone is becoming your secondary time zone and depressing it once again and holding it for about three seconds will return your settings or the time zones to its priorities and that would be it. solar charging of the watch well all the upper level Casio models are have um, installed or come with tough solar movement which indicates that the watch has a solar cells in the dial integrated this means that it has a solar or rechargeable battery installed inside the watch as I said previously uh, the battery is theoretically indefinite but it all has uh, its expiration date uh, key features about the solar charge battery is that it has a I would say two levels of the uh, power level of the battery and the second hand is used to indicate that when the second hand uh, skips one second the watch is in a level uh, I would say level one battery level which means the battery is low and the battery is at its lowest the watch will skip two seconds so uh, it the watch has to be recharged recharging the watch is done by exposing the watch face or the watch dial to the uh, sun i'm going to show you the tables uh, the casio provides for the amount of charging time for the uh, uh, corresponding battery level now the watch also comes with the uh, power saver mode or the uh, battery saving mode and that is done uh, with the also uh, keeping track of the minute hour and the second hand when the watch is exposed from i believe 8 pm to 8 pm then uh, in 8 am uh, is uh, not exposed to the sun and it's in the dark the second hand will align at 12 o'clock and that's the power saving mode i would say uh, first step of the power saving mode now the next step of power saving mode is the if the watch is left in the dark for seven days all the hands will align at the 12 o'clock but the date will keep running so uh, the activating the watch is done by exposing the watch to the sun or pressing any button when the battery is dead on the watch the watch indicates it by aligning all the hands at the 12 o'clock and resetting the date to the uh, one and that's uh, about the solar uh, technology that Casio provides before moving to the uh, application part of the video or smart watch part of the video I'm gonna indicate that this watch also has this airplane logo over here which indicates the airplane mode of the watch uh, this watch is uh, well as all watches are uh, used, are used on the airplanes hospitals and everything else so when the watch uh, or the radio waves are uh, let's say forbidden uh, you have to uh, press the a button for about four seconds and the uh, watch will enter the uh, airplane mode which will uh, turn off any bluetooth and radio waves in the room the watch bluetooth mode or the function the, this watch has a bluetooth mode and uh, to do that we have to use our phone to pair our device with the your with our phone so first step getting our phone ready just now go to the play store and I am an Android user search bar guess your watch plus so this is the app you want to download
probably gonna time lapse this part here. So the app is installed, we have it on our home screen, and then open the app, read the terms of use, agree, privacy notice, I read it always, <laughs> now allow all the access to the app, tap the edifice, tap your watch, it's the EQB 500, okay, and now we bring back the watch, push the Bluetooth button, a new watch was found, so register the watch to the app, tap that, The second hand moved to Bluetooth, so the watch is connecting. Sometimes you'll have trouble, but the pairing in ultimate, as the ultimate process, should go smoothly. The pairing was done successfully, and here we have a Casio's app on the phone. So, right now, what the app is doing or showing is the watch functionalities as well as the app functionalities on the upper left corner we have the watch setting phone finder setting alarm setting and so on so the watch settings are as shown the button operation tone time adjustment the time adjustment is the um the time or uh, the preset time for the uh, automatic synchronization between the watch and the uh, phone so the time automatically synchronizes uh, on those two devices now we have adjusting home positions so if we tap that we can move the hands of the watch by using this button over here and then sending the, the information to the watch And here we have the correction as shown above. So now I'm gonna rotate the hands a bit more to correct the time properly. And there it is, so go back, that's one of the functions, next one is the phone finder setting, and I'm gonna show you how to, how to enter the phone finder setting, now we have um, adjusted the volume on our device, and we have a, a sound, type of sound that will uh, our phone ring. Using the phone finder on your watch is done by previously, if we have previously connected our phone with our watch, pressing the C button to disconnect the phone from the watch, and it, that's the lower left one, as we can see the watch is now disconnected. Now depressing the E and for two seconds till the watch beeps, then pressing the D button to activate the Our phone ringing, and that's the Find Me option on our smart watch. Now, to connect the watch again, press the C button until the app registers it, and the watch is connecting. The second hand is pointing to R now to Bluetooth, and the connection is completed. Other functionalities of the watch include the 
world time by tapping on the screen and we have Berlin Munich and we are going to set uh, send settings to the watch and uh, watch the uh, this sub dial over here and when I'm setting or sending the informations so it's well how lucky I am that the time is correct let's try somewhere else like I don't know and here we have the rotation so seen on the sub dial other functionalities amongst the world time is the stopwatch function we have uh, distance setting and everything else and the alarm we can set the alarm and to um, access the uh, stopwatch settings we have to uh, click the data transfer so the trans the data will be transferred from the uh, watch to the phone of course if there is any uh, stopwatch activations and we have one and here we see uh, the stopwatch data what is there else to say uh, I believe that would be all but uh, also one interesting thing to say about the Bluetooth mode is that if you uh, want to unpair your device from the phone or you can access the uh, this device from other phone and when you are uh, let's say selling the watch to another customer you have to unpair your device and delete the um, Bluetooth data on the device itself so uh, first of all uh, to unpair the device go to the uh, Bluetooth open the Bluetooth and then find your device there it is and then tap the unpair so the watch is now unpaired deleting the pairing information from your watch is done by uh, unscrewing the crown pulling it to a second click then holding the lower right button for about five seconds and watch the second hand until it rotates the full circle and that means the pairing information from your phone is deleted and now you can pair the other phone after you finished screw lock the crown and you have your watch back in the standard timekeeping mode or the calendar mode as this uh, as the Casio calls it